students today's topic is animal tissues animal tissues are of four kinds epithelial tissue connective tissue muscular tissue and nervous tissue first we will start with epithelial tissues you can see in the down i have made another flow chart for the epithelial tissues based on three criteria that is types of layers cell shape function they are divided into three parts first one is simple epithelial tissue this epithelial tissues are located on the surface of the body and it lines all the body cavities and internal organs including the blood vessels their shape is flat cuboidal or columnar based on that here it is the cell shape is mentioned you can see here cuboidal columnar they are divided and based on the function they were, they are divided into sensory epithelial tissue germinal epithelial tissue ciliated epithelial tissue and glandular epithelial tissue the main one comes here that is under simple epithelial tissue and stratified epithelial tissue we'll talk about the epithelial tissue epithelial means upon the epithelial tissues rest over extracellular matrix called the basement membrane which is made up of glycoprotein and collagen fibers they are found all over the body first we'll start with squamous epithelium they are composed of thin flat and prominent nuclei closely packed these are found in the lining of mouth and the nasal cavities and also in the blood vessels and lymph vessels squamous epithelial tissues function is they protect the underlying parts from the mechanical injury germs and other harmful chemicals and helps the cell not to dry up next is cuboidal epithelial tissue these are found in some parts of kidney tubules and in some glandular ducts including those of salivary glands and pancreatic ducts next one is columnar epithelium columnar epithelium is divided into two parts they are divided into two parts that is ciliated columnar epithelium and another one is glandular epithelium which is mentioned over the here over the function you can see these are cylindrical brick like cells and they are found in inner lining of stomach and intestine this ciliated columnar epithelium consists of cilia cilia means hair like structure which are found in the trachea that is also known as the windpipe which this ciliated uh, this ciliated epithelium consists of cilia which keeps on lashing and move and move the materials which enter into this regions that's why they help in clearing the trachea next is second one under the columnar epithelium this glandular epithelium tissue comes what is they are made up of large cells and they secrete chemical substances they are found in sweat glands and in tear glands and also in the liver the last one comes here the stratified epithelial tissue the stratified epithelial tissue is found in on the skin all over the skin and the cornea so this was all about this epithelial tissue now we'll talk about the connective tissue as the name suggest connective means it connects all the parts of the body they are helping in binding joining and packing one tissue with another tissue in the animal body they are of five main types you can see i have written here with pink color areola adipose skeletal fluid and dense first one comes the areolar tissue areolar areolar tissues forms a packing between two different organs 
lying in the cavity of the body of the animals it is also known as the loose connective tissue the major function of areolar tissue is joining the skin to the muscles or connecting bone sorry connecting the blood vessels and nerves to the surrounding tissue it also gives a covering over the nerve muscles and the blood vessels and repair any kind of mechanic repair any kind of mechanical stress or damage by binding the body structure and by filling the space inside the organs next one is adipose the adipose is also known as the fat tissues they are specialized cells which stores the fat they are formed they are found in the skin and around the kidneys and also in the eyeballs next is the skeletal connective tissue The skeletal connective tissues are also called as the supportive connecting tissues. They mainly comprises of bones, cartilage, bones and cartilage. Bones you already know in the lower classes you have studied that they are the strong, rigid and non-flexible skeletal tissues. And the cells of bones are also known as osteochytes. and they are the hardest cells found in the body bones are also made up of calcium phosphorus etc another one is coming under the skeletal tissue that is the cartilage cartilage are flex hard but yet they are flexible they contain cell which are known as chondrocytes you can see here the diagrams of bone and cartilage next one comes the fluid connective tissue under fluid connective tissue comes blood and lymph blood you already know what is blood blood is the liquid part which flows in the blood vessels they consist of plasma and the cellular part respectively the rbc wbc and blood platelets this you have learned in the lower classes so i'm not going to discuss about it next under fluid connective tissue comes the lymph lymph is the fluid surrounding the body cells it is essentially the blood plasma that has oozed out of the blood vessels it contains wbc and it does not contain the rbc next one comes the dense connective tissue under dense connective tissue comes tendon and ligament tendon are white fibrous tissues made up of collagen while ligaments are yellow fibrous tissues made up of elastic fibers and few collagen structures the tendon joins skeletal muscle with the bone while the ligament join two bones at one point next one comes the muscular tissue muscular tissue consist of three parts steriated non steriated or unsteriated and the last one is cardiac steriated and non steriated and cardiac muscles tissues are those which forms muscles of the body the muscles can contract and relax and they help the body in its movement the first one which is called as steriated they are also called as the muscles which are under our control under our will also known as the voluntary muscles they are known as the voluntary muscles they are found in the arms legs face neck neck etc unsteriated are also known as involuntary muscles they do not work under our will that's why they are known as unsteriated or non or involuntary muscles they are found in the iris of skin iris of eye skin lining of blood vessels urinary bladder etc 
the last one comes the cardiac cardiac means you know it is associated with thought the only involuntary muscles which are found in in the walls of the heart this cardiac muscle is not present anywhere in the body except the walls of the heart they can contract without outside stimulation and they do not get tired the last one we will deal is with the nervous tissue nervous tissue consists of only one that is neuron or the nerve cells you can see here this is a diagram of a neuron neuron cells are specialized to transmit the stimuli received from the external or internal agents to the different parts of the body and the brain the nervous tissue occurs in brain spinal cord and the sense organ this is also the largest cell found in our the sorry the longest cell found in our body it consists of cyton which is also known as the cell body it consists of axon and axon ending in between the cyton contain uh, consist of the nucleus and other parts called dendrites nissl granules then you come down it consists of nucleus neurolemma myelin sheath node of runway so this were the major parts of the nervous nervous tissue so this topics were this particular topic was for both standard 7 and standard 9 in next class i will soon clear your doubts and queries thank you